Hey guys, so this video is going to be um, an image evaluation of the foot x-rays. With a foot series, it's usually a three-view foot, and you have um, the AP, you call it the AP axial because there is a little bit of an angle that you put onto the tube, the oblique, and then the lateral. So I'm just going to start off by pointing out what the AP axial is supposed to look like. You kind of want to make sure that you are centered at the base of the third metatarsal, but honestly, you don't really think about that when you're actually like in the real world doing the x-rays. You just want to center it to like the center of the foot. And you just want to make sure that you angle the tube 10 degrees towards the heel. I was always taught to collimate, make sure that whenever you do anything, basically one inch on all sides. And honestly, you are kind of like supposed to include the heel. I don't know why these pictures don't really include the heel. You want to make sure that there's no rotation and you want to make sure that the space in between the second, third, and fourth metatarsals are basically really, really um, similar. It shouldn't be rotated. And then you also uh, should notice that there is an overlap, uh, like right here. There's an overlap right here. There's an overlap right here. There's an overlap right here for the AP axial view. One thing that you should also pay attention to um, is that there is a, a pretty open joint space kind of between these bones. That would be the medial and the intermediate cuneiforms right here. This area has a nice, pretty open joint space. And then you, as with everything, um, basically you just want to make sure that there is um, the bony trabecular pattern, so the patterns on the bone and then also the soft tissue shadow. With the oblique, you just angle the foot so that the pinky toe side is up a little bit and it's a uh, kind of a 30 degree angle. What I always like to do is I just like to make sure that I have two fingers um, that fit comfortably um, between the foot and the image receptor, and that always gives me a good um, angle. One thing that I noticed is if a patient has a steep arch, you kind of have to angle their foot just a little bit more than you think you would, and that helps to open up the joint spaces better if you have a steep arch. One of the things that you really need to notice um, between the AP axial and the oblique is that the joint spaces right here are way more open than, or on the oblique than with the, uh, this. They kind of overlap on each other right here. The oblique gives you a better view of what's going on in between the metatarsals. Another thing is that the joint spaces um, and the and the tarsals are better um, open. So as you can see, like right here, this joint space is nice and open. Um, this is a little bit more open. Um, and then right here is the sinus tarsi. That should be open too, um, compared to right here. Doing the oblique kind of gives you a better view of the joint spaces in your foot because in the AP axial, all the bones are kind of on top of each other, which makes it hard to see. When you do the oblique view, for sure the cuboid, the lateral cuneiform, and the navicular, their joint spaces should be pretty open. And then it also gives you a better view of the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. So right here, this tuberosity area is um, a place where there's a lot of fractures and kind of angling the foot a little bit gives you a different view of it to be able to see if, there's, if it's fractured. I have a better picture of a better lateral. So hang on just one second. So this is a much better picture of a lateral foot. So you can see here the metatarsal heads are nice and superimposed. The dome of the talus is not 
quite perfectly superimposed, but it's good enough. And you can see a nice open joint space between the tibia and the talus. So this right here is a fibula. It needs to be kind of um, overlapping the posterior portion of the tibia. Right here is the talus. And here's the navicular. Um, here's the cuboid. Right here is where um, the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal is. And a lot of times you can like see it if it's fractured. And right here's the calcaneus. Yep, that's it.